right, back on sports bit time for big game breakdown. As always, live odds, sportsbookreview.com. Some huge games to go over in college football. Let's start with Wisconsin and Michigan. Michigan at home, 10 and a half, 44 and a half the total. The quarterback change, I like Hornybrook a lot better than Bart Houston. I don't know what Chris saw watching practice for almost two months that he thought, yeah, hey, let's go with Houston. Now, Hornybrook had a lot of help. He had a clean game, and it certainly helped, Teddy, that Michigan State handed Wisconsin 21 points and the short field for most of the game. Well, sure. I mean, Wisconsin had one touchdown drive longer than 28 yards. Their two second-half touchdowns were a five-yard drive and a fumble return touchdown. So, Hornibrook was put in a pretty easy spot against the Spartans because he didn't have to do anything, just manage the game. You know, he's a kid that has decent arm strength, but doesn't have great arm strength, and of course, he wasn't under much pressure last week because of the game situation, but it's worth noting, and it's definitely worth noting in, in a game that Wisconsin won 30-6. to six. You know, uh, Corey Clements only had 54 yards and 23 carries, and one of them went for 22 yards. So on his other 22 attempts, he gained just 1.5 yards per carry. That's not what you want to support your young quarterback on the road. Yep, that is cause for concern because you're going against a athletic and tough defense. Michigan has 17 sacks already and allowing less than 50% on completions. If they, if Wisconsin can't run the ball again Saturday, oh man, trouble. Well, that's the thing with the Wolverines is that Michigan has shown us very clearly already they can score on offense, they can score on defense, they can score on special teams. And the markets tend sometimes to devalue the team's that score defensive touchdowns or special team touchdowns on a regular basis, like the Wolverines have done this season. They say, oh, that's lucky, that can't continue. But when we're talking about a young quarterback on the road with an iffy running game, you would say there are more chances for Michigan defensive scores in this game than, say, perhaps the average game. I'll just leave it like that. And a fantastic Michigan offense led by Spate, who's got 900 yards, almost 900 yards and nine touchdowns through the air. Is this is this a public perception of Michigan? Is this wise guy? Remember, they were like six to one before the season started to win the title. It's an avalanche of Michigan money. Yeah, I, I mean the wise guys love this Wolverine team. Uh, no question about it. They have been power rated as a top five team nationally from day one this season. Now, that hasn't changed in this ball game. But I think there is a little bit of a sharp square divide on this game when you look at some of the consensus websites. When you look at some of the uh, Sports books that cater to a public betters, you're seeing a fair bit of support for Wisconsin out there. The number looks a little bit high, even though Michigan has been so dominant at the big house through the first month of the campaign. I love the balance. They have four guys with at least 145 yards rushing so far as Michigan again. Great job scheduling another home game for the Wolverines. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.